Hi Leo, welcome to your love reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. A general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every Leo watching this video. If you need a positive reading, that information is going to be down below in the description box. All right, Leo, definitely looks like there's someone coming back from the past here. There is a resistance of wanting to end something that... Um, is no longer serving you this could be a person this could be a thought pattern okay any of it but when i clarify we're going to go know more in the past there was something that was a wish fulfillment to you or there was something that you were working on your healing okay but this looks more like a wish fulfillment okay something was very fated and disdained in the current moment i see there is someone here who's being a little sneaky someone who's trying to avoid and ignore a situation or someone who's just trying to hide their feelings or get away with something in the near future i think you're holding back or this could be someone who's very closed off to you. Or this could be you who's very closed off to the other person. Okay, could be someone who's in the state of shutdown, having huge trust issues. What you're doing right now is you're not wanting to take a risk. You're not wanting to take a leap of faith with someone. There could be someone, again, I'm getting trust issues with these board cards. Okay, this could be someone who's put you through hell and back. All right. And now you have um no confidence in this person this person looks like risky business to you there is a new beginning available to you but you have to have more faith than take leaps of doubt here in this situation okay in your environment we do see someone coming in who's wanting to offer you something stable okay something committed and this could be the same person who's coming in towards you okay this could be someone who you ended things with in the past okay but this person refuses to let you go you're on guard with this person you have serious trust issues dude your walls are really up very very defensive of course i don't see you as completely walking away from this situation because you still have that one one left. You still have that little perseverance left. You're exhausted in this connection. Okay, you're like, like literally at like the end of the rope, okay? But yeah, it looks like in the outcome, you're going to be stuck on this person or this person is still stuck on you. But this could also be, again, death in reverse, six of swords in reverse. They both seem to me like someone is resisting a big, huge change, resisting a transformation that they need to make in order to move forward with you and this is more like the energy of someone going back to the same repeating the same past patterns um literally like going against the current making things more difficult than they seem to be or someone who's just refusing to um change the way they think this is this is like someone who needs to go through a transformation okay the death reverse and the six of swords look there's this huge transformation that is required here but someone refuses to do it okay they, someone still being absolutely the same old sneaky way this doesn't look like cheating to me but this uh, definitely looks like someone who's being an escapist someone who's trying to get away with something or someone who's not being able to make an honest approach to the situation like literally they know what they need to do but they refuse to do it And probably that's why you're closed off to this person. We'll see. All right. Uh, what is the death in reverse? Ah, see. Someone's coming back. This person could have ghosted you, okay? This is someone who took a break from you. You could have taken a break from them. But definitely dealing with someone who's isolated themselves and someone who's done a lot of thinking and now they're ready to come back to you, okay? They're rushing in with the Knight of Wands here. This is a very fiery, passionate energy, okay? They have a lot of passion for you and they're rushing in. What is the hermit? Yep, see, four of swords. This person's done a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking. So yeah, you guys definitely could be on a break. You guys definitely would have been in this no communication mode, right? They've done a lot of thinking, for sure. The hermit is someone very, very wise. So I wouldn't say this person is someone stupid. But yeah, this is definitely someone, right? With the death at the bottom of the deck. Someone who's gone through transformation, spiritual transformation, or... This is just someone who's want who's refusing to let you go in short. Okay. And there's been a lot of thinking, a lot of contemplation about this situation. Someone's pulled back big time. Okay. And now they're coming back. They just cannot let you go. They can't let this um, connection end. But again, the only problem is here is that they tend to repeat the same patterns over and over again. I'm getting more like they're not learning their lessons. Okay. What is the star? Why is the star here in the past? Yeah, see the hangman and the star. So I think there could be someone here or you guys could have been on a break. You took your time off from healing or there could be someone here who you literally put on a pedestal, okay? But this person could have kept you hanging for a very long time. The situation could have been stuck and stagnant. There was a lack of action from this person, okay? 
and you could have ended things with this person with the world here you could have completed a cycle with this person what is the hangman see so much love here so much love you have a lot of love for this person okay you're very compassionate towards this person you understand this person this is unconditional love okay but yeah you trusted your intuition you trusted your guidance but there was something that was left on hold for a very long time all you wanted was happiness okay with the sun here you probably looked at this person as your happiness with the star here your wish fulfillment but again there was someone who refused to could have been someone who refused to make a decision that's why things were just not moving forward and probably you trusted your guides in your intuition and you probably moved on cut things off abruptly with this person okay but this person they're wanting that in what is the seven of swords Yes, yeah. Seven of Swords with the Empress here. This person definitely has a lot of feelings for you, okay? And with the Empress here, this person probably sees you as marriage material. They see you as uh, someone who is worth the commitment or someone who is marriage material, okay? They see you as someone very self reliant, um, someone on their own, someone who's got their shit together okay with the six of swords they could even see what you moving on you're wanting to move on you're wanting to move forward with clarity you're wanting to move away from anything that doesn't make you happy you're ready to make this change because you're ready to move away from anything that doesn't make you happy whilst this person here they're stuck on you they're stuck on you they're not being able to either they're not making that change that is required or they're just completely like you know they've frozen on you and for them it's like no i i i neither can i let you go nor can i make the changes that are required okay because that will push me out of my comfort zone and that's something that i don't want and that's why you're so guarded this person is coming back but for you when this person comes back right i don't think you trust them you've got security issues with this person because you're the empress here okay like you're good on your own but you're definitely dealing with someone who is probably in and out of your life, someone who hides their emotions or someone who just literally runs away from commitment. And that's what you realize here. And that's why now you realize your worth and value or they realize their worth and value. OK, but they're coming in, but their sneaky patterns are still the same. OK, so be careful about that. What is the Empress? The devil. Dude, this, this person's obsessed with you. They're obsessed with you, dude. They're obsessed with you for sure. They're dying to take the sleep of faith. Look how contradictory the cards are. They're wanting the sleep of faith. And look at what you're doing. You don't want to take a risk. You think this is something that is probably not worth the risk because they've done a lot of damage before, but they're coming in. The seven of swords, the devil, oh, fuck. that's a lot of obsession. That's a very toxic uh, connection, a toxic person. And you know why they're toxic? Because they don't, they refuse to change their thought pattern. They, they refuse to cut and shut the old and let the new come in, okay? They know that there is something that they need to end. But in order for that to end, they know that they need to go through a complete 180 degrees transformation. They need to surprise you, you know? Like literally, like you need to be like, dude, is that really you? Stuff like that, okay? But because they're in love with you, they're in love with you. They hold you in very high respect. And that's one of the reasons why they're so attracted to you. That's that's where they put you. They put you on that pedestal. OK, they see you as someone who's like, to, like she's out there. She's on that throne. But I feel they feel the need to get in, uh, strategize and get in or be sneaky about it. it. Another way of seeing it is because they see you as the empress. I feel this person is a little intimidated by you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, what is the Four of Pentacles? I, I feel you're holding back. Look, Six of Swords, you're holding back and you're wanting to move forward because you're hurt. This person's hurt you very bad. You're hurting big time. This is emotional trauma, pain, breakup, separation. This is still on your mind in the near future and you're going to hold back from this person because you, again, I like I said, right? You still are not ready for this new beginning with this person. You're taking leaps of doubt. I am getting security issues. You don't trust that this person is going to be. Um, it's like, you know, you literally question yourself when this person comes in. Are they really going to be? Uh, are they really changing this time? You know, because the biggest apology is changed behavior, right? You always have to look at a person's actions if they're matching with their words. And that's something that you keep questioning yourself. But they're coming in as the king of pentacles. So, yeah, I really like that. So maybe you want to give this person a chance. Okay. 
they they feel so connected to you they cannot let you go no matter what happens they're not letting you go period they're not you on the other hand you're just wanting clarity probably you want closure probably you just want clarity and you just want to move forward you are in no mood of opening up to this person what is the six of swords you could have given this person multiple chances okay to change and probably when they refuse to change their ways that's when um you just were like you know what bye what is the six of swords see you're blocking this person out you have nothing to say two of swords seven of wands like what else do you want me to say you block the shit out of this person you could have blocked them on social media you could have energetically blocked this person okay like this person literally see that's what i'm saying the seven of swords this person feels the need to sneak into your life because they see you as this they see you as someone who doesn't need them anymore but you're hellbent on not letting them in with the two of swords here again i'm getting a lot of um indecision more like i don't know what to do about this you know when this person comes in more like that like all, you know on your mind is all you want is happiness all you want is to move forward with clarity you want closure probably even if you don't want closure it's like if you're coming in i want to be a 10000% sure that you're coming in with the right intentions okay i don't want no games no more i'm done with the games you know that's what your intentions is but this person is very attracted to you that's obsession addiction towards you okay i think they really like the way you are they like they like your energy your vibes i mean dude you're the empress maybe you realize your value now okay you realize your self worth they realize your worth they realize you bring a lot of balance in their life and they realize that you know what you're not going to let them in so easily okay so they're going to try to manipulate the entire situation and come towards you because they can't let you go but you on the other hand here i don't know i mean i you're it looks like you're wanting to move forward and you're very closed off to this person like no you're not i'm i'm not letting you in why the fool in reverse because in the past i feel that you could have given this person so many chances the queen of cups is unconditional love right she's sensitive she's there she's only thinks from her heart okay and probably this person kept you on hold they probably took advantage of your feelings okay because they knew you were there for them always what is the fool in reverse why the fool in reverse hey, so, so see did i keep saying that all you want is clarity you want clarity either you want clarity or you've got clarity and now you don't want to take a risk with this person okay you want to stay away from any kind of drama you want to stay away from shit talkers you want to stay away from anything that causes a lot of drama chaos in your life you want moderation you want um a calm peace okay you're just i'm literally getting you're maintaining your cool you're keeping it cool cool calm collected you know because this person again when they come in you know literally i'm getting they just like shit the shit out of your life okay and like they leave you high and dry and you're like waiting like what the fuck just happened did i make a mistake again by letting you in what is the ace of swords you're just looking for some kind of clarity from this person eight of wands yeah you're wanting clarity and you're like good to go seriously i feel you're good to go you know you you're already ready to leave the building because you're no more wanting to invest into this person it's like i tried tried and tested not working i'm done the ace of swords you're cutting through the bullshit either you have clarity about situation that's why you don't want to move forward and you're letting go you're releasing this person and you literally want to move forward like now like yesterday okay that's the kind of hurry you are in probably this person even notices that okay and they know that they're not going to be able to have an honest approach it's just in their thoughts okay because with the moon here i think there's a lot of illusions that the, that you have or this person has but again i'm getting a lot of security issues someone's very insecure or someone has a lot of uh, trust issues but this is a lot of uh, secrets okay maybe you feel this person is always has something to hide maybe you think this person doesn't tell you everything okay but yeah with the moon here something's hidden something's in the dark and you feel the need for something to be illuminated you just feel like there is a lack of clarity here and that's what you're looking for probably till there's no lack of clarity till there's a lack of clarity i don't think you would be wanting to look towards this person what is the king of pentacles knight of swords look they're coming in with communication and they're coming in quick like they could have messaged you yesterday you know not only are they coming in quick but they're coming in with with that approach of the king of pentacles okay they want a brand new beginning with you clean slate they miss you i miss you like crazy 
I'm a little mermaid to me. Wow. The sun, the six of cups, the ace of wands. Damn, they want you. But yeah, they're coming in with the right intentions, dude. They are. Seriously, they are. I mean, I understand with the death and divorce you, I did say it. But yeah, the death and divorce is like, no, I just cannot let you go, okay? Like, they just can't let you go. Like, seriously, okay? Take it from me. They can't. They're obsessed. They're addicted. They're attracted. And they want that brand new beginning with you. They're the knight of swords. You're the queen of swords. <laughs> You're like, dude, I've had it. I'm done. Like, cut the shit out. What is the knight of swords? What is the Knight of Swords? Yeah, they want a reconciliation. Yep, 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 yep. They're hurting as much as you're hurting, too. They are. I'm not going to lie. They are. They're hurting, too. They want a reconciliation. And, like, they want it, like, now. Like, now. I want this reconciliation now. Okay, there is going to be some quick communication that's going to come in, okay? But I like that approach with the King of Pentacles. Okay? They're coming with that, with this with this right set of mind. That approach is probably a little rash. Probably someone who suppresses their emotions. The King of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, not really the most emotional cards, okay? But stability, security with the King of Pentacles, longevity, yes. Knight of Swords um, coming in with the truth. But it's like something like, you know quick unexpected so they're going to come out of the blue you're not going to be expecting this person to communicate with you yeah you're already probably wanting to move forward you already are you think you're already halfway out okay yeah you're not going to be expecting this but they want reconciliation they want a second chance here with the judgment here they want you to give them a second opportunity resurrection what is the nine of wands what is the nine of wands what is the nine of wands Page of Pentacles. What's that? Are you looking at new love? We have the Ace of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. The Page of Pentacles is either you're very guarded from this person, okay, and you're probably looking for something new. Maybe you want something new. Maybe you want to pursue something new. Page of Pentacles is also... Um, you could be expecting something tangible from this person. Could be expecting, a, I mean, an apology. But yeah, on your mind, you're guarded. And with the Page of Pentacles here, I feel that you're wanting something new. We have the Ace of Cups here. Maybe you're wanting self-love. Could be, right? Ace of Cups is also self-love. It's focusing on you. It's like literally prioritizing yourself. Because with the Five of Wands here, there's too much drama, right? Not on the same page. What is the Page of Pentacles? Let me see that. Five of Cups. Yeah, see, you want something new because you're... This is a very disappointing situation for you, okay? I don't think you're even what you have your guards are high up. This person's going to like you're gonna be like a tough nut to crack if this person wants to, you know, like literally they'll have to like break the door. They're not gonna like it's like I'm literally getting if they knock the door to come in, you're gonna be like, uh no. They're gonna have to break the door to come in towards you. You're pretty guarded out here. In fact, you're even ready to leave or you already are half out, half your way out. But yeah, page of pentacles. Look, I'm feeling also that, you know, because you're so guarded because you want something tangible from this person. But if you are, you're expecting the page of pentacles. Dude, they're coming in with the king, okay? Expect the unexpected. Like, seriously. Expect the unexpected. You are very, very disappointed with this person. Agreed. Crying over spilled milk. Agreed. But then see, the five of cups is also the energy of that, you know, everything's all is not lost, okay? You still have these two cups left, which you're not watching. You're constantly focusing on the past, investing your energies into something that's over and done with. Let it go. Let it go. I mean, unless this person really did something nasty or they played you dirty, which I don't think is here, but... Maybe this person just escaped or tries to escape a relationship or tries to escape from pushing themselves outside the comfort zone. Okay, but they're coming in correct. They are. So, yeah, but it's you who's in that low vibrational energy with the Five of Cups here, okay? The Five of Cups is an energy. If you stay there for too long, the chances you get into depression and that leads to a lot of inaction. Just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. What is the Six of Swords in reverse here? Why is this a likely outcome? See? This person stuck on you, but with the Queen of Swords here, you're like, 
again, right? The Queen of Swords wanted to come out. It was there at the bottom of the deck, right? I think there's communication coming in. I feel this person's stuck on you. It could also mean that you're stuck on this person because I don't see the Eight of Cups as yet. I still see the Five of Cups. Maybe you're trying to um, distance yourself, your mind, or physically, but mentally you're still with this person. But yeah, with the Six of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Swords here, you're probably even stuck on them too or they're stuck on you. They're coming back. But with the Queen of Swords here, I think your approach towards them is like, you know what? Cut the bullshit. I don't. I ain't got no time for this. What is the Queen of Swords? What is the Queen? I think this is your approach towards them when they come in because they're coming back. What is the Queen of Swords? They can't move on. Either they tried and they couldn't move on or they're just like, they were just there. They were going nowhere. See, Page of Cups. This person's coming in with an apology, lame ass apology. With the Six of Wands here, this person's super duper duper willing and determined to move forward with you. Okay, They want to take things to the next level. If you guys are friends, they want to start dating. If you guys are dating, they want to take it this to the high level of commitment. If you guys are committed, they want to get into marriage, whatever. Okay, Something's moving forward. Something's going to the next level. Yeah, but they're like King of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Three of Cups, Page of Cups. Okay. Six of Wands, very determined energy, okay? They're coming in. Page of Cups is also an apology. It's a love offer, okay? But there is emotional communication. But just look at this, okay? Look at the Queen of Swords and look at the Page of Cups. Dude, you're going to slice the shit out of them. You're kung fu in their ass is what I'm getting. Like the Queen of Swords, she's like this no bullshit, no nonsense queen. And they're like, hi. You're like, bye. <laughs> That's so stupid. But okay. That's not funny. So that's what I have for you. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.